Hello, welcome back to more Horizon Forbidden West. Right, guys, in the last episode, we learned that Silence is a scumbag and that he did steal Hades, which we knew from the end of the last game. But now Aloy herself knows um, because this, well, where Hades was, lit up red. Do you know when the night when he took him back? Um, we've explored that. We actually spoke to Silence. He was basically like, yo, come find us in the Forbidden, the forbidden West. Oh, is of me <laughs> that's new hi Avad the sculptor wanted something even bigger twice the size covered in gold and jewels but I was quite certain you wouldn't appreciate that you were right I'm sorry Avad, it's good to see you, but I can't stay long. I see. I had hoped you'd remain in the city for a time. Perhaps at the palace. Meridian's still in danger, but it's bigger than that. To put things right, I have to go west. To Noct territory. By the sun, the Tanakh? Well, perhaps Murad already told you, but... After years of hostility, we've negotiated a truce, in hopes of a lasting peace. Another embassy will be held in just a day or two. When you say years of hostility, I assume you mean the Red Raids? Ah, yes. My favorite subject. I wouldn't ask if I didn't need to know. As you know, my father raided all the border tribes. The Asaram, Banuk, and Nora suffered greatly, resisting as best they could. But none fought back like the Tanakh. They rose up and assaulted our western front at barren light, sweeping us from their lands. Getting them to talk to us again after that was... tricky. Mm. What makes this coming embassy so special? Well, just like today, it is special because of the guest. Our delegation will meet with the Tanakh just outside Baron Light. We'll give them treasure, and they'll return a prisoner. Fashav, one of our finest soldiers. Soldier? Don't you mean raider? No. Not in this case. Fashav is my cousin. Nothing like Helis and his ilk. He joined the Western Expedition with the hopes of reining in certain excesses. But he was captured during a heroic defense of our forward base at Cinnabar Sands. And has been held ever since. Okay. Edelman looks happy. You got him out of Sunfall. Any happiness he has, he owes to you. That was him, right. He's turning the into kid. a fine young man. Which he'll need to be if he's to inherit the crown. Wouldn't the crown go to a son of yours first? <laughs> yes, well. I'd have to get married for that to happen. <laughs> Murad keeps throwing noble matches at me. But I find I'm always... trying to make them into someone they're not. At any rate, I never aspired to the throne, and I don't wish to sit there forever. When Edaman comes of age, I hope to step aside. Free of the crown. I might finally be able to travel the world. Who knows? Perhaps even accompany you on one of your adventures. You make it sound easy. <laughs> How did you get the Tanakh to talk again after the war? The same way I got you to talk. By giving gifts. <laughs> the Tanakh like tiaras? <laughs> More like metals, spices, and relics looted during the fighting. We've met with them on several occasions, and the gifts seem to have eased the tension. But this coming embassy is the most important yet. The best sign we've had so far that the Tanakh want lasting peace. Your cousin, Vashav. How long has he been a Tanakh captive? Five years. 
to knock the emissaries swear he is well, but I wonder. That tribe is renowned for its brutality. How did he survive? Well, I'll know soon enough. If you see him before I do, tell him that I await him in Meridian, where he belongs. Okay. If I see him, I will. How do you go? I need to get going. Uh, one moment, Aloy. There's something I must ask you. Since you left, I've thought of little else. This isn't really the time. But it has to be. The way you left before, there's no way to know when I'll see you again. I'm not trying to stop you. Or hold you back. But I need to know. When your mission is over, will you return to Meridian? And stay? Are we actually going to answer straight up now? Spend time to get to know each other properly, perhaps. Wow. Flashpoint offers my emotional choice. How Aloy expresses her personality is up to you. Choose that and Aloy will confront the challenge directly. Use that insight to find a clever, less obvious approach. Will express compassion or give voice? I do hope to see Meridian again, Avat. And you. But this mission, it's my life. It's all I can think about. I have to stay focused. What happens after? I can't imagine that. I, I wouldn't know where to begin. Well, if that place were to end up being Meridian, know that you will always receive a boundless welcome here. Tend to your mission, Aloy. I will hope for your success. And look forward to your return. So long, Avard. I think we'll be seeing you again, though. I guess I should be flattered by the statue. It feels wrong. Especially when my job's only half done. Dowager Queen Nasadi. Blessed champion. Itaman, what do you say? My humblest thanks to you, great champion, for delivering my mother and me from Sunfall and for defending our holy city against the forces of shadow. <laughs> Did I say right? You said it fine, Itaman. And you're welcome. Champion, will you teach me how to shoot like a real machine hunter? Itaman. I, uh... I have to go on an important mission, Prince. To save the world? Something like that. But when I come back, I could give you a few tips. It would be an honor. We owe you our lives, champion. And we will not forget. May the sun light your way. Watch out for Thunderjaws, champion. Thunderjaws are no match for me, boy. Okay. Sort of odd. That's part of the Deathbringer we defeated. This machine was the last line of defense for Hades. It dragged the orb up here and then nearly killed me, but it's just a piece of scrap now. Machines Hades controlled. But we pushed through. Step up here. There, the workbench. Uthid, Fanasha, thanks for being here. Wouldn't miss it, even if you did leave us hanging after the big battle. Fanasha, stop. 
She's here now, isn't she? For the moment. But I see that look on her face. She's got business to attend to. And it isn't in Meridian. You know, I didn't vanish before because I wanted to. I had... No, Huntress. Please. You don't have to justify yourself to us. You saved our butts. If you've got to go, go. With our blessing. Always. Thanks, guys. You both look like you're doing well. Mr. Shiny Pants here is now the Sun King's senior military advisor. That means people actually have to listen to him talk? May the sun bless their sorry souls. At least I say something of substance every once in a while. What was that? I just fell asleep while you were talking. And how about you, Vanasha? I've been looking after Nasadi and Edaman, two parts bodyguard, one part... Bad influence. Huh. I was gonna say nanny, but I like your version better. I never pictured you as a nanny. Edaman must be special. Hold on now. I'm not entirely domesticated. Nasadi was the mad Sun King's wife. She has enemies. I've had to foil a plot or two. Right. You can try to hide it, but inside, you're as soft as a silk pillow. Oh, you have no idea. Huh? Oh, dear. Uh, we were talking about Edaman? Yeah. Okay, I admit it. Edaman's cute. He's fun. And he looks up to me. I like him. Except when he forgets to wash his hands after hooking worms in that muddy garden behind a solarium. Blech. It's been months since I was in Sunfall. What's become of the Shadow Karja? <laughs> After you wiped out the Eclipse, there were hardly any priests or officers left to terrorize the little people. Avad offered amnesty to all who were forced to serve the Shadow. So the commoners cleaned out the Citadel and handed it back to him. The Sundom was unified. Avad wanted Uther to take command of the garrison there, but Captain Cudley here refused. Rumor has it that he wanted to stay close to me here in Meridian. <laughs> That's nonsense, of course. <laughs> well, I, I know. I know. You're out. Go! Away with you. Always an honor, champion. Always a pleasure. But please, little Huntress, come back someday and tell us about your adventures. If I can't get in trouble, at least I can hear about yours. See, I feel so fulfilled now that I'm finally out here. Okay. What? I wasn't paying attention. Well, that's everyone. Master override installed. Plus, something new to store up and release energy. Good to see you back here, Savior. Uh, resonator. Should help in a fight. All right. We're ready. Are you finished with your friends? Or do you need more time? I'm good. Can we... I think I'll take a few more minutes. Can we actually... Can we leave down? Okay, now we're done. Are you ready to go? Or do you need a little more time? Ready. I better get going. And if I'm headed west, it sounds like I'll need rite of passage from the Tanakh, as you said. Where exactly is this embassy going to be held? Past the Dawns, the canyon that marks the western border of the Sundom. You'll find the fortress of Baron Light at its farthest edge. The embassy will take place just beyond its gates. It's 
A long march, a fortnight on foot. A couple of days hard riding should get us there. Actually, it might be better to rest here tonight. Head out in the morning. Of course. I'll arrange it. Damn, who falls asleep like that? What's she doing? Beaving and behind. Intro. I have to block it out. My voice has grown so somber. These words don't seem like mine, but the iron won't subside. No matter, no matter what I try. seen anyone use one of those to get around is that how I get to Baron light uh yes I mean usually but not today uh, not yet and why is that well the daunt the whole valley it's infested with machines oh damn why is that I can handle machines Oh, I'm sure you can, but uh, I'm under strict orders not to operate until the whistle down at Chain Scrape sounds the all clear. Look, I didn't come all this way just to stand around and wait. I'll crank that car down myself if I have to. 
Well, but then... Who would crank it back up? Fine, fine. Though, should anyone ask, it might be best to say you forced me. Here we go. I see smoke. Oh, we got level three. But not a lot of activity. Wait. Okay. Smoke's probably coming from something the machines wrecked. As for the quiet, well. There's a work stoppage in effect graphic. because of Look at that. the fuss. What sort of machines are causing the trouble? Nasty ones and lots of them. Bristlebacks, they're called. The strangeness is, they're not native to the dot. Just showed up all of a sudden. No hunters to kill them? Well, we've got hunters, just none that want to cross all of them. Boss of chain scrape. He is self-appointed. Work stoppage was his idea. Yeah, well, I'm just passing through. Got an embassy to attend. You should have said that ain't gonna happen no time soon. What are you talking about? Hear that? That's your answer. Who is that? Karja Sun Priest. Cranked him down yesterday, about an hour before the machine trouble started. He's a very important man, or so he says. That embassy at Baron Light, he's the one supposed to run it. Ah! Great. Hmm. Okay. If you don't do as I say immediately, the Sun King himself shall hear of your insolence. Thanks to you, I was forced to spend the night shivering in the tent. Exposed to attack, I might have died. Oh, me you refuse to transport, but not this... This... What? This Nora girl? This savage? Besides Scallywag? Wadis. That's Aloy. Studious Wadis. Aloy? You know, savior of Meridian? Yeah. Really? Well, that lessens the insult, I suppose. Wow. I came here for the Can we throw Baron him Light? to the machines? Yeah, well, not the valley infested. And so did Aramon proclaim the sun priests most precious and worthy of safekeeping. See, scripture. I shall head to Baron Light when the captain of the Vanguard tells me the way is clear. And not a moment sooner. That's Ellen. Fine. Captain's a friend of mine, you know. Where is Erend? Erend, that's must be Ellen. someone a little more action, a little less scroll. Vadis. Studious Vadis. Studious. Wadi sent Aaron and another vanguard out at daybreak to clear the way. And so at daybreak. Hey. Shh. <clears throat> Down the valley then? Yeah. Said they checked the ruins on the left bank for tracks. Take it from there. Okay. I hear there's a work stoppage. Any way to upgrade my gear? I'll bet the Smith and Chain Scrape would let you use his workbench. As for the bristlebacks, you might want to craft some acid arrows. Okay. Hitting their canisters with those will take them down quick. Thanks. I'll find Aaron and I'll bring him back. Hey! Where do you think you're going? What? To the top of the ridge. To wait in safety. Sorry. Operators under strict orders. No passengers till the whistle blows, right? That's right. <laughs> Best start cranking. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Jorf, would you kindly escort Studious to James Grape and wait for me there? You got it. I will find Erend, and I will help clear a path. But after that, no more excuses. Baron Light. Embassy. If 
such be the will of the sun. It will be. Trust me. Okay, right, guys. We'll probably leave things there for this episode. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe. Most importantly, I know you guys have a beautiful day, and bye bye.